Hi, I'm David Tubb. We're here today to talk about the moving target aspects of shooting the dynamic targeting reticle. And if you've looked at the other segments, you see that this has ranging uh, abilities. It has its, basically its own ballistics computer inside the scope. Obviously, we're using the right kind of ammunition. It has about a 300 foot per second operating range. So today we're going to shoot moving targets, probably at multiple distances. This cool particular segment is starts at 100 yards. And not only are we going to shoot moving target leads, and if you look through the, the TR reticle, it has walking leads, running leads, then it has 20, 30, 40 mile an hour cross leads. And if you look down, you'll look at the leads as they sub 10 down, and they are, they start at 200 yards, there's a W and an R kind of in the central portion of the reticle. And as you work down, you'll see that at 300, it's a triangle. At 400, it's a diamond. At 500, it's a pentagon. At 600, it's a six. And then there's a couple more larger dots for seven and eight. You can shoot moving targets with any of the DTR reticles out to 800 yards. And the one thing about this moving target setup that nobody else has got besides the fact that we've got it set up in the scope is the fact that we are correcting for the precession or the spin drift of your shots at distance. Now, 300 yards or something, it really doesn't make any difference. You still have to hold the wind, of course. But at 800 yards, this bullet is hitting at least the width of this box to the right, okay? Now, one other little thing that we're gonna do here when we shoot this is we're gonna shoot supersonic ammo. And we use, obviously, we're gonna shoot a target that's set on the walking mode today. And when we do, you obviously we're going to put the W in the head and shoot it. And obviously if it was further out, we would work down the bars at the prospective yard lines. But then we're also going to shoot some of the superior shooting systems, two-hole ammunition. And this is our subsonic two-bullet load that functions AR-10 type platforms. And what you'll see is when I shoot this one, I have to use a different lead. Why? Because instead of my bullet going 25, 2600 feet a second, this ammunition's going 1050 feet a second. So consequently, when I'm shooting this, I actually use the running lead to shoot the subsonic ammo. So when I just shoot this target today and watch it, I'm going to shoot the moving lead or the moving target lead with the supersonic ammo in the head. Okay? That's this ammo right here. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to shoot the two-hole subsonic ammo in the body. And watch for the double hits. And once you learn how to master this shooting right way or left way, it's very easy to hit targets. As long as you can track, squeeze the trigger, and follow through. So here we go. We're going to shoot a few shots at the head of the mover as it's traversing back and forth. Okay. Well, I gotta set my magazine better, don't I? Go back the other way. Well. Okay, now we shoot the subsonic ammo, two hole subsonic. Get my magazine box in there. Now look for the two hits at the same time and watch that I'm now using, obviously not only am I using the running leads, but this ammunition goes slow enough that I actually have to use the pentagons, which are 500 yard drop zones, basically for this ammunition <clears throat> because the flight of this bullet is much slower because it's going 1,050 feet a second as opposed to the supersonic ammo that's going 2,600 feet a second. Look for the two hits as we go. So what I'm going to do is I loaded this magazine back up with supersonic and subsonic rounds. So I'm going to shoot three supersonic rounds in the head, 
as it works across and then I'm going to finish the rest of the mag shooting subsonic using the running leads as opposed to the supersonic walking lead and use the number five pentagon right? so this the scope is not only usable in its mode with supersonic ammo at the various segments that we're talking about but it's also usable with subsonic ammo not only to shoot the target let's say at 100 yards and actually what we should probably do at the very end is we'll shoot a couple of shots at that stationary 100 yard target to see both the bullets hit at the same time Right. with subsonic 2 0 ammo. All right, so here we go. Supersonic, three shots in the head. Then you'll watch, I'll change the lead from walking to running, and I'll use the Pentagon in the body and shoot and finish out most of the magazine on the target. All right. All right, now the body. All right, here we go back the other way. There's the Pentagon and the target. Here are the hits. They ran into the other target. Look at that. <laughs> That's good. Okay, two bullet hits. All right. Now, that's good, Nate. Let's shoot five shots at our little stationary target down there at 100 with the two-hole ammo. Watch the two bullets hit. Watch the, you know, obviously my gun's cycling. I'm not working it each time. So here we go, middle of the body. And obviously when I held the pentagons out to the right and the left for the moving leads, guess what I'm gonna hold in the middle of the body to make my hits at 100? I'm gonna look and use the pentagon at 500 yards. It's not very hard to figure out which dot that is. So here we go. See all the hits? Cover it up. So, to surmise this, we shot supersonic and subsonic, one on top of the other. You could shoot a supersonic or a subsonic back and forth. Obviously, 100 yards is a decent working range for subsonic ammo. You can see also when you shoot supersonic ammo and you shoot the head, head shots are pretty easy at 100 to 200 yards with this setup for walking leads. You know, no matter what anybody says, if you have a target at 200 yards or 600 yards or 800 yards, you shoot a sh shot at it, guess what? If you don't hit it on the first time, it's moving. So you need to be able to actively engage targets, moving targets, whether they're walking or running, and the DTR does that with ease with just a little bit of training.